Hello everyone, this is 2 a and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the frigid outskirts area in Dark Souls 2. So I'm doing this at roughly soul level 180 I believe. So relatively high. It's not necessarily a bad idea, even higher is okay to be honest with you. I know I'm Fextra Life, okay. Fextra Life recommends higher, but so as soon as you enter you're going to take a 45 degree angle from the coffin. This is going to take you to this whatever this is. This is our first landmark. So you're going to summon the NPCs, well, you can if you want to. I'd recommend doing this. They're kind of useless on the boss, to be honest, in my opinion, but you can just crystal them in the end. Eh, they, they don't have any human effigies to be restored. So then you're going to run to the first shelter. So I call these safe houses. They're not really safe houses. They're more like less dangerous houses, but you, you basically run between them when the storm is going, and then... And when the, sorry, you, you'll you leave when the storm abates, by abates I mean gets a little less egregious, and then you'll cower in them throughout the storm. So obviously I came, I got in this one halfway through the storm, so, so I spent a little time cowering in here during one of the less stormy periods. As you can see, it's kind of like a godforsaken place that doesn't look very comfortable. So there's other ways to get through this area other than hopping between the safe houses. And I don't know, like for example, see the storms just abated. So like for example, people advise you could perhaps like run skirt around the edge, but I've never found that to be worth it because the edge is where the crystal magic spring box or whatever they're called come from. And those guys really suck. So th there's also going to be one between the first. Yeah, there. See, there's always going to be one Springbok between the first two safe houses, and then there's there's going to be one between the second and third safe house, and one between the third safe house and the boss. So you're always going to have to be careful of those. I'm sure there's more if you aggro them. I've heard there's hundreds of them. So that's why I'd recommend staying on course. There. So now that it's cleared, I can see I'm, I was slightly off course, but that's okay. And also, I'm going to be spending some of my less stormy periods inside this safe house, which isn't the best, but I wouldn't recommend running for another safe house in the middle of the storm. So another thing... You, you, when you go in here, you want to murder all the tattoo Einsteins because there, there are a few. There's three of them in here, and then you stay in here until either a the storm abates or b one of the spring box comes in. Because if that happens, you don't want to be in here. You see, so now you instantly abandon ship. As you can see, a lot of this run is just like running away stoically while your summons get brutally murdered, and and then sometimes the spring box will follow you instead of them, which is the only point of. If you're an NPC watching this video, then just skip this part. I was going to say the only point of the summons is just to be fodder in Springbok land, because... Now, this third safe house, there's going to be ram a Rampart Golem in here. There's also going to be a Tattoo Einstein, but at this point in the game, if you can't take out a Tattoo Einstein, there's something wrong with you. So, actually, the Rampart Golem will get jammed against one of the barrels, because he's a stupid AI and he won't... See, he, he's, he'll just be walking against the barrel. Even though he's aggro, he won't actually think to break the barrel. Which, which, which is fine. Until one of your NPCs shows up and aggros him out of there. Which, there we go, see? You don't even need to worry about him. That time none of my NPCs showed up either, which was good. So hopefully you'll be able to get to this pit. You'll, you'll see this pit down there. Hopefully you'll be able to get to it before one of the bef one of the storm periods happens again oh don't really care about that sorry bro so anyway if one of the storms happens again you could even aggro a third spring block and i've sometimes been chased even across this bridge sometimes when i'm trying to crystal my phantoms at the right right outside the boss fog there's actually spring box attacking me so you're, you're not going to want that I'm also wearing the Crown of the Sunken King, because what that does is make sure that I don't go hollow, and it, while it lowers my vigor and vitality, bye, bye man here, Hera, thanks for your service, it does increase some very important stats, and that, and that will up my damage, so that will be good in this fight. 
the, this is the twin Ava boss. Probably, well, without a doubt, in my opinion, the worst boss in Dark Souls 1 and 2. It really is a kind of ass, to be honest with you. Um, I, I like Ava. Ava's a fine boss, but the twin Ava boss just sucks. I mean, it's it, there's there's three things that can happen. So, oh, first thing I have to go over. One, once you get the first Ava down to a, about 40 or 30 percent or something, he'll actually uh, the second Ava will actually come. So it's not based on time. So you, so while he's at basically full health, you don't need to do anything stupid. You don't need to do anything rash. But now at this point. I'm not going to want to attack him until I have full stamina, so that I can combo him and hopefully kill him before the second Ava joins the fight. That's why I didn't attack him right there. But there's three things that can happen, really. If R and Jesus loves you, you'll kill the first Ava before the second one can even attack you. If he does what he normally does, then you, the first, then the second one will have some time to interview. To interfere, and if you really hate it, and if you really hate you, you're gonna have to do Ava, Ornstein, and Smoke, which really isn't any fun. So there, there we go. I think after I hit him again, the second Ava is gonna show up. So that's why I don't want to hit him while my stamina is low, because I want to get as much damage off as possible. There, see, the second Ava is already here. So this, th this kind of sucks because since he knocked me over, it's gonna be very hard for me to kill him before the second Ava starts joining the fight. There, see, the second Ava is there already. Uh, I find just Chug Estes because it's usually a stupid strategy in Dark Souls 2, but what can happen is that he'll use his soul masses, and I never find dodging them is worth it if you're at very low health. Instead, you should just heal up. I, I I really hate this boss to be honest with you. I mean I mean that run if you're watching this video you probably hate that run enough to look it up online. And let's be honest, even a almost perfect boss like Artorius would be a terrible boss if if he had that run in front of him. That run is enough to kill any boss for me. And then instead of putting even I'm mean, okay, Pinwheel would be fine with that run. Oh, yeah, this fight can end very, very quickly, and also when he gets to very well health, he'll pop a life gem, and that will actually boost his damage as well as, as well as his health will slowly regenerate, and I even find his defense is a little higher, so you want to kill him, so if you can, you should kill him before that life gem goes into effect, it's like, yeah, that's probably what, that's probably what he's going to do now, because, there, there. He'll always jump away. So, if you're lucky like me this time, you can chase him down and kill him. But if you're unlucky, you're gonna basically be having to do him all over again because that life gem heals him so drastically. Well, that's basically what you do with this area. It sucks, it's horrible. I wouldn't even really recommend soloing it, to be honest with you. I mean, it's important to do it once, but after you beat the Twin Ava boss once solo, I, I, th I think you should just summon for it. If you ever, in the unlikely event that you ever set foot in this crap hole again. Well, like and subscribe if this video helped you, and all I can say is good luck, because this area sucks, this boss sucks, and you're going to be seeing it some more.